Hey guys, it's Captain C.A. Richardson from Flats Class YouTube. Today we're going to talk about top water. That's right. What could I possibly add to your knowledge about top water? Well, the first thing is color matters. I hate it when I hear so called experts say that color doesn't matter when you're throwing surface plugs. Well, it really does. I'm going to go down here into my shop and give you a little insight on colors that matter for top water. And while I'm doing that, I want you to watch this little video of Bassmaster Elite Angler Corey Johnston and Roland Martin on my boat when we were fishing in the Power Pole Summit Tournament. And legendary Roland caught a really nice fish on a top water. So you watch this live footage and I'm gonna put everything together in my shop and studio. Be right back. Flats Class YouTube is brought to you by Aquatraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. Pleased if it's an eight or nine inch upgrade for this little tournament. Yeah, you're okay now. I can't tell if he's got a tag or if he's got a little remora on him. We're in the yeah, it looks like a little remora. Good. If, if we were in a slap tournament, he'd be good. I wish he was 37 inches long. Here you go, Roland. Right, not, bad. not bad, buddy. We got the slam now, so Yeah, we got a good one. A couple of good ones, yeah. We can weigh it. So we'll just get, get the thing on the scale. Pretty impressive piece of footage when you consider. I've got a future Bassmaster star in Corey Johnston on the boat. Him and his brother have just been, I mean, just a dominating factor on bass tours. And then I've got basically a Mount Rushmore personality in the bass world, standing on the deck of the boat catching fish uh, in this impromptu tournament that we had during our Power Pole Summit back in 2019. And the one thing about Mr. Roland Martin that I've learned over the years, uh, competing against him in the old ESPN Redfish Cup, watching his YouTube channel, watching his show growing up, because he was one of my early influencers, as good a salesman as he is, man, does he know how to catch fish. And it doesn't matter if it's fresh water or blue water or inshore salt water. He has that fishy gene. And he just always seems to pull it off. Now, he was throwing a blue back, silver bodied topwater plug. It was a mirror lure she pup. And what we were doing there is we had, you know, daylight conditions. We were fishing a mangrove shoreline and we were trying to pull the fish out from underneath the mangrove shoreline, even though he's an amazing caster. But we were trying to pull them out. Uh, that was a very natural color. So it worked good in color does matter. That's what we're going to talk about now. When I put together a top water tackle box, I put a lot of color in it. Now, like I said earlier, those so-called experts that say it doesn't matter, well, in my opinion, they probably do not fish top water enough to even be able to make that comparison. It does matter. I fished professionally for a long, long time for money. 
And I can tell you, when you're working a rod tip down in an aggressive manner, walking the dog, that bait dips, dives, rolls. Those fish can see the contrast between the back, the flank, and the belly. So you have to consider ambient light conditions, surface conditions too, and you have to consider water clarity, what they can see. Now I'll give it to you that the aggressive nature of a topwater, regardless of color, could get a fish's attention. Just the surface distortion, the, the, the rattles in the plug, but it's not the end all, I promise you. There are ways to enhance or give yourself a better chance of getting a fish to strike. So I pulled out of my tackle bag a couple of baits here, I've got them all laid out, that I think I can run down real quick to give you kind of an idea of what I think about when I'm choosing top water lure color. First light, last light. That's when all of you believe is the only time to throw top water. No. You can throw top water all day long and you can throw it in the dark. It works all the time. It always works. Don't let that be, don't let that, that misnomer of what everyone has told you for so long that you can't catch fish in the middle of the day with a top water. But let's talk low light first, just like I said. If it's first light or last light, because it's tough for my eyes to get adjusted to see the bait walking, and a lot of novice topwater guys have this problem. They need to see the bait walk so they can get the cadence down. You get a feel for it after a while. So chartreuse and silver, big bright red chin, very important. I love chartreuse in low light. I also love pink. You knew I was going to say that. I always choose pink. Pink and chartreuses are great low light, first light, dusk type colors. Now, let's go from that, from low light, let's just talk about the dark. Let's just talk about you're throwing them at night. You're wading a flat or in a kayak at night, and a lot of you guys have discovered that that nighttime fishing is working really good, especially the nighttime dock light fishing. Not so much in the lights, but the zones between the docks. What are good colors for that? Colors that when the fish is looking up toward the surface, the ambient light, city lights, whatever you want to call it, just the background lighting, uh, even if you're fishing around, you know, street lights and things like that that are along a bulkhead, they're going to show out and make the, the surface a lot lighter. So you need a dark belly plug. In that case, it's not going to matter so much as long as the plug can throw a silhouette. So purple bellies. Black bellies, cocoa brown bellies, those are going to be the best ones for throwing in the dark. Now, let's take it a step farther, or the most obvious. So what do you throw during the daylight hours? Let's just call it angle of light from 10 a.m. to like 4 p.m. That's six hours when it's bright out. So what, what plugs would you throw then? That is when you throw those white belly plugs, those silver belly plugs, those gold belly plugs. So I'll give you an example. If it's really nice out and the fish are kind of off, I'll throw a lot of bone and silver. I love that color. But you'll notice, and I'm gonna talk about this a little bit later, it's got a nice bright chin on it. So it does get the attention of fish from a greater distance with that contrast. That bone and silver in the middle of the day, that's a good color, one of my faves. Naturally, the number 18 color is great. Dark back, silver sides, white belly. When this plug is dipping and diving and rolling in the water, you see the dark, you see the silver flash, you see the white, and that's what you see. The fish can see that through the water a lot further away. This thing could call a fish from 15 feet away. It's amazing. Then there's colors like this. This is green and silver. Now, Roland caught his on blue and silver, but you can, you can see bright chin, loud rattle in this one, but we'll talk about that in a minute. These are the types of colors that work great during the middle of the day. One of my favorite colors that really blends in super well when you have to fish spooky fish or you're fishing a little shallow is this 
almost like a royal blue back. It's almost like a blue black uh, herring in freshwater. Silver sides and white belly. That's a great color right there. One of my faves. Let's just say you got bright water and you got tons of bait everywhere and you got to make yours look different than everybody else's. I mean, there's just mullet all over the surface. There's all kinds of thread fin, finning everywhere. Now, you got to have a top water, but you need one that looks a little different from the rest of them. Well, that's when number 11, the woody woodpecker, is the perfect choice. You're going to find that you're going to want to throw this a lot. It's just not the old guys like me. A lot of you should be trying this bait out. It catches a ton of fish. All right, real quick, let's go through the stained water, the tannin water colors. If it's beautiful out, throw all gold. All gold works in that tannin, tea stain, rivers, creeks, back bay water. All gold if it's perfect conditions, slick and everything. If you're if you're working it um, in, in the back bay, this gold, especially this little silver foil bait, like right here, with the chartreuse, kind of a low light scenario, you, you can get this first thing in the morning. That's gonna be a nice loud bait, good solid bait there. If you got overcast skies or the stain water has a little few muddy zones and things like that from mullet muds, nothing beats candy corn in the mirror lure lineup. That 808 color throws a lot of different contrast in the water that they can see when you're working it. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap this up with a couple of things that you need to consider, and then we're out of here and you can go fishing again. Okay, I've given you a lot to think about. I really have about top water plug color. There are some things, dressings if you will, that you can create contrast with that will make your top water plug stand out and be more attractive at a greater distance. I'm not saying you do it. I don't do it most of the time. But if you want to get like crazy, you can add a prop to the back, okay? You know, props are nice. Slurp it a little bit. You know, it makes a lot more disturbance. If you're trying to pull them out of deeper water or dirty water, you got a little more wind. That's kind of a cool idea. And you could take it a step further and put a tail dressing on here, like a feather. A lot of companies make like little bucktail trailer hooks for these top waters. Lots of guys like to put red hooks on top water. They really do. They'll put a red hook on a top water or both of the hooks be red on the top waters to give it, especially on white belly baits, to let it jump. Let it, they see the, the bait a little bit easier. Those are just some ideas you can do for contrast. But you're still going to get that contrast in this bait because you got a dark back, silver sides, white belly. And when I, I, I can't drive it home enough, that bait rolls when you walk it and, and rolls over and dips underneath, especially if you're working it a little bit aggressively, it's even more pronounced. Now, when I was talking earlier, I also mentioned that chin color can really enhance a bait. So when you have those, those scenarios where you have dirty water or you, you have, well, not so much dirty water, but clean water with overcast skies and you're looking for a little contrast and maybe the only top water you have in your, your boat is a white bellied or a bone bellied top water because that's all you bought at the tackle store that morning. Remember, get those ones with those red chins, those red chins, that can make a difference. That can throw just enough difference in the water where they can see it a little further. I'm a gigantic believer in if you can create contrast for fish to see the bait, they will come to it. That's the key. A lot of guys want nothing but natural, natural, natural. They don't care about ambient light. They don't care about water clarity. But for me, even with top water, color matters. If it didn't, I wouldn't load these boxes up with all these colors. I'm telling you right now, I've been doing this for over 30 years. And I know what works for me. I know what works for my charter clients. If you like what you're learning here on Flats Class each and every week at Flats Class YouTube, come on, give us a thumbs up and then hit the subscribe button. And take it one step further if you're a really avid lure fisherman, a tackle junkie like myself. Hit that bell so that when new videos come up, you guys will be informed that, hey, Captain CA has got a new tip for me, and it might make me catch a few more fish this weekend. I hope this tip right here on Topwaters gets the wheels turning in your head. 
and sends you to the tackle store to buy a couple of different colors and start experimenting yourselves. Now there's going to be regional and local favorites where you fish, you know, that always seem to work. But if you can't find some of the colors I was talking about today, and I've got a lot more, go to sodiumusa.com. Give them a try. I think you're going to find a lot of hard baits there, a lot of the soft baits we talk about here on Flats Class YouTube that you're going to be able to purchase and have to you in less than 48 hours. All right, guys. Until the next YouTube video, I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to go back to the shop and start working on my next one.